What are the meetings like where you guys are picking ideas to have in the 20 dumbest moments of 2013? The way it starts is on January 1st, I come in and I open up a Word document that says 20 dumbest and the year. Mm -hmm. And then every morning, we go through the news and say, all right, anything worth putting on the list. And we'll come up with a list of maybe 150 things. Okay. And then it's funny how some of the things as it were happening said, well, this will definitely be on the list. And, and they go away very later, quickly. Yeah, like, they, they were much more fleeting. And other things that you said, eh, mushroom into these big stories, or they're just so dumb that you can't pass them up. Was there anything from 2013 that you were fighting for that just didn't make it? No, see, I have the big office. <laughs> so I never have to fight that hard. If I want it in, it'll go in. Do you uh, ever feel like, I mean, because it's funny, like as we're talking about Congress and it's something funny, I'm laughing, but at the same time, I'm like, oh God, that sucks that it's our government. Like, do you feel this kind of two sides of the coin where you're like, yes, this is something that's gonna be great and mad, but at the same time, you wish that it wasn't going on. Yes, yes, but ultimately, economics went out. So therefore, this is good. This will sell the magazine. I will be able to continue to pay my mortgage. So let them continue to screw up <laughs> because ultimately it's all about me. Yeah. You know, so, so, and it's, and it's good because. And that's what the government does too. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, see. We're on the same page. I should start working here. Yes. I mean, I kind of already do. But I'll create an opening. <laughs> we, can, we can work out something.